people welcome back in this lecture we will look at prop validation in our previous lecture we passed this email prop to this email detail component but what if someone passes wrong data or something else then we must need validation in our child component like this one email detail dot view component so in this case view also provide validation on props and how let's get started so as you can see this is our email app but for prop validation we are going to use simple components so we don't need you now and one more thing if you look in our console we are getting this error or warning you can say the search component has been registered but not used because of this we registered our search component but we haven't used it and that's why we are getting this error from ESLint saying please use this but for now I don't want to use it so if I also comment this out and refresh or you can say just go over console same email is not email is defined but never used is okay this is because of this right now it is correct hmm let's create test component it's hard to come up with names okay test dot view our template tag hello now i will import it here import hello from components test dot view it should be test not hello right and then test you can also comment this out if, because we don't need it right now so we have imported our test component and registered now let's render it now in browser we are getting hello so first of all prop validation so in script tag not you export default and here I will define some props like this and in our email detail component we define it props as array but I also want to include some validation so I will use object so let's go over name and this will be object as I said now for prop validation we can use required and if I set to true okay okay that's because of root element you see we are missing required prop name because here it is required and if I comment this out and we are getting no errors so this is required true if you want that prop passed by parent now next is default for default we can pass value like hey now let's refresh and we don't need to refresh actually we are getting this hey and and if I pass prop from here let's say what was that name JD now save and we are getting JD but if I don't pass it here then it will take this default one which is hey right so this is prop default now what if if I use them together missing required prop name and we are also getting this hey amazing so this was simple prop validation and default 
now let's go over some other propagation like booleans a object for that we can use type let's say name should be string so you will use type string now save it and in here i will pass name is equal to gd and i'm getting that and yeah let's check it we are not getting any errors but let's say if i pass number by using column before prop name and then passing a number so this will turn in number and if i refresh this it gives me expected string with value 5 got number with value 5 because type is string and if i use number oops that should not be number this one and we are getting no errors right and now if you pass your string then you are getting expected number with value 5 but string with value 5 so this is common mistake so keep watching for that now next up we can use object let's save it pass a number and it gives us expected object and if i pass here an object you can also pass variable or property you can say from this data or complete property and pass the name here but for this simple example i am directly passing an object and we're getting that object no errors so this is number object string and all of these are prop validation and also you also learned this default so thanks for watching and see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe share and like bye bye